By the time it's here, Peter and I will have been engaged almost two years and been dating. I mean, like I said, we're going on nine years. It's just, it's crazy that it's this Saturday and I am so excited. I am so excited. I think it's a Leo thing. He's born in August and he has this cute thing that his um, godmother made him and I guess Peter or something about Leo's, it means the rock and he is the rock. Like I feel like everyone in his family relies on him and I rely on him and I'm sure so many other people rely on him at his job. He's just, he is definitely a reliable person and everyone just connects with him. The first time I met Peter was at my Big Fat Greek restaurant. It was the first job I got when I moved to Arizona and uh, Jarrell actually trained me. We realized that we had some, some things in common. He had told me he had come from New York. All my family comes from New York. And so I asked him, where in New York are you from? Like, oh, Long Island. Oh, where Long Island? Because, oh, a small city, you've probably never heard of it, not knowing that I have so much family in Long Island, and he said, Massapequa. Oh my gosh, all my family <laughs> lives in Massapequa. I find myself always wanting to do the right thing, um, not wanting to let her down. I always felt like she always brought out the best in me. She shows a genuine care and, and interest in, in, in everybody and everything, and she just ha has a way where she just loves everybody and everything. The proposal story is great. Um, it was a long day. I had to plan that day out accordingly, and as far as what I was wearing and what I was bringing with me and how I was going to carry around this this rock, you know, this ring. And uh, so it, it was very challenging, but I ended up going with just the ring in my back pocket all day throughout Paris. A lot of tourists, a lot of traffic, a lot of subway rides and whatnot, bumping into people. And I was very nervous having this ring on me the whole day, but uh, the timing, uh, uh, it was never right, like I said, and then it was get, kind of getting towards the end of the night. We met up with some friends who we were um, in Europe with, and uh, we went, we did a last kind of midnight trip over to the Eiffel Tower, which is what I wanted, and, and the timing all of a sudden became perfect. As we were walking, I didn't realize that they had bought all these bottles of champagne and wine, and we're walking up to the Eiffel Tower, and oh my gosh, I did not know that the Eiffel Tower lights up at night. And as we were walking up, oh my God, it was beautiful. Like all these shimmering lights. And I took out my phone to take a video. And as I did that, I turned to look at Peter. And it was right around midnight and I dropped down on a knee with the Eiffel Tower lit up right behind us. And I asked her to be my wife. It was beautiful. It was wonderful because there were so many Parisians there at the Eiffel Tower. Like the Eiffel Tower is a party scene every night and um, they, all these people saw the proposal and so they all started cheering for us, clapping and then our friends had the bottles of champagne and popped it and it was just a beautiful moment. I will always remember it. Peter, you are my best friend, the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Today, I take you to be my husband. I promise you that I will be your loving partner. I vow to cherish our union, and I love you more each day than I did before. I will trust you, I respect you, laugh with you, and stand with you, loving you faithfully through good times and bad, regardless of the obstacles we may fall together when life seems easy and when it seems hard. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward, for as long as we both shall live. 
When I'm with you, I'm home. I promise to be the best hus husband, father, and friend that I can be. I know that I'll be the best I can be because you bring that out in me. Your smile, your heart, and your care can drive me to do anything I want to do. You and me throughout this amazing, long adventure have done it all. We've laughed, we've cried, we've traveled the world, and every second I spend with you I realize there isn't another place I would rather be. I cannot wait to build this life together, a life far better than one I could have imagined, thanks to you. I am just so excited for everyone and all of our loved ones to be together and celebrating us. Jarell and I and our family, you know, we're very family oriented, we're very friend oriented. We get a rise out of seeing people and seeing everybody happy, seeing everybody having a good time. Just being able to spend time with the people that I love and the people we chose to invite and, uh, and each other as well, you know, and being able to celebrate Drell and I and everything we've accomplished and everything we've been through and um, our lives. I couldn't hide it from you tonight. I couldn't keep it from And I just want to say how much I love you guys. And I'm really excited for you, and congratulations. Woo! That's why we're all here. We all love them so much. They mean so much to everyone here. I think when, uh, when the Petridis first moved to Arizona from New York, it was tough for everyone back in New York. We had Pete for a few more years, and then we lost him too. And that's because his family, his family was out there, and there was no stopping him. He was going out to Arizona. And that's where he was going to meet Jarrell. I would like to have a little toast, so uh, go ahead and raise your ouzo or water or something. Raise your glass. And let's have a hell of a night. Closing, Pete, you're the most genuine, good-hearted person I know, we know. And Jarrell, on behalf of all Pete's friends, you're just instantly so loved by everyone. And we couldn't be happier for you. So if everyone wants to hold up a toast. Oba? Oba! Thank you, everybody. Opa!